reporting to you live from the Recovery Ranch Studios. And I'm Adam, and here are today's top stories. Adam, let me ask you a question. Do you like going to the movies? Ron, I love going to the movies. Fantastic. Then do I have a story for you? Thanks, Ron. Now with me here is Eddie. Now, Eddie, where exactly are we? We are in the Recovery Ranch Cinema right now. And, and how did you guys build this? Uh, well, first we framed out the walls and framed out the ceiling, and we took one of our the ranch favorites stain, gunstock stain, and we stained all the plywood and hung the plywood. Wow, and then and what do you guys do for the sound and the, and the projection? Uh, we have a 9x12 screen right behind us, and we had some guys hang that, and we had, we hung a uh, surround sound. That's awesome. Now, what, what, what do you guys do with this? Uh, well, we come in here as a family, we'll make popcorn and cookies, and we set up a bunch of chairs and sleeping bags if it's going to be a late night and people can sleep in here and we all watch a movie together as a family and it brings us a lot closer. It's really special. That sounds awesome. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Of course. Back to you, Rob. Wow. What a great way to spend an evening with your brothers. In other news, the ranch lost power this week for reasons still unknown. Let's go to Scott for the inside scoop. Thanks, Adam. With me here is local ranch hero Bill Davis. Now, Bill, explain to me what happened when the power went out that night. Well, a few nights back, Scott, we were making special sandwiches for the guys for a little special excursion we were going on, and uh, all of a sudden, power was out. So we just rounded up some of our camping equipment, some lanterns, and uh, we just put some artificial light in that kitchen, and uh, we kept right on working. We made those sandwiches special, and we didn't let it bother us a bit. Wow, Bill, what a great story. Back to you, Adam. Thanks, Scott. I love homemade sandwiches. And now, with the latest in sports news, here's Ron. Earlier this month, the ranch took a trip to Lake Isabella where some extreme tubing went down. Let's take a look at the action. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop on Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style! That's awesome! I don't care who you are, that's a good time right there. Now back to you, Ron. That sure looks exhilarating, Connor. It sure does, Ron. There's nothing quite like smashing to a lake at 40 miles per hour. There sure isn't. And now, our top story. A brother shares his gratitude and what that means in his life today. For the past two weeks, I got to go down to Isla Vista for UCSB move-outs and paint units um, for my painting business and to help out my dad and my sister. They, my dad owns the units and uh, my painting business goes through every year. And the past uh, seven years, I've, I've uh, been doing that loaded. And this this time was a lot different. It was awesome being being able to share that experience with my brothers from the ranch and the Ranch Hens guys, and I'm really grateful I get to do that in recovery today. It, it means everything to me. Um, and, you know, I, I realized a lot of things while I was down there. Uh, for one, being that, you know, in the future I want to I want to hire guys uh, from the ranch that are graduates to work for my painting business. And it was just a big eye-opening experience for me.